Um, well, we are Gunther Mellen Drunk. We've been around for 35 years now. And um, yeah, here we are. And um, we are completely focusing on KVM systems. So we've got everything in house from R&D, wire manufacturing, um, over to sales, um, a broad support team. And um, we are proud to um, represent the broadest, the most complete KVM portfolio in the industry. And um, maybe even if you are in, at an AV show, not everyone is familiar with the term KVM. KVM stands for keyboard video mouse as a synonym for computer interfaces. And the big difference that we see um, compared to pure AV is that we add the back channels or the operational part to the system. And um, of course, the, uh, um, the operation is a very crucial part in any kind of control room. And then the typical applications are very familiar again with um, all the um, AV applications. We do signal extension, s uh, switching of the systems, matrix systems and all that kind. Um, as a high-end manufacturer, we are made in Germany. Um, we are focusing on mission-critical control rooms, such as yeah, maritime, industrial control, automation, energy sector, traffic, air traffic control, and many more. And um, one brief example I would just like to give about our applications is taken again from air traffic control. There we are working closely with the German ANSP DFS Deutsche Flugsicherung. And this morning we already had an example here from the Netherlands from the tower operations, um, which usually does the local operation at the airport approach and um, and start, and um, furthermore, in the control center, there's the upper area control, and that's what we've got in our example here. Um, that brief report is about um, the implementation of a new control room in Langen, and um, yeah, there were very precise um, requirements about um, efficiency, ergonomics, um, security, and um, yeah, the KVM system, um, significantly contributes to all the system reliability in here. So um, if you look, for example, at the controller working positions, um, there we are using a KVM switch. So the operators, the controllers, they've got two workstations at their desk, um, a primary system and a redundant fallback system. Um, and um, both are connected to that KVM switch at the console, and uh, the second computer is also connected to the switch itself to operate it or to be able to operate it. And what usually happens is the, the primary system permanently sends a ping over to the redundant one, and just in case there's no health signal anymore, the redundant computer can switch the operator um, to the second channel of the KVM switch. So. Um, the, the second the redundant computer would turn into operation. Um, a simple contingency concept already, but um, yeah, very effective to have um, permanent control of the system and no signal loss in there. Um, furthermore, a bit of a special approach also due to the economics um, and um, yeah, quite unique in that industry is that um, they placed a special bridge within the operations room. Um, the bridge is used for the technical personnel for, the, um, yeah, for ensuring the system's operation, for having all the system information available, all the data, the radar information, flight information, weather, and all that stuff. And um, therefore, they are also based within the ops center um, to also have better interaction with the, with the controllers. And, um, there they've got a complex matrix installation, which also ensures um, different redundancy aspects, um, gives them best access to all the different computers, so all the, um, all the computer farms for the um, air navigation um, information um, are um, available redundantly, so they've got two different technical rooms in case of a system failure in one room. They can switch to the other room. Um, in case of an incident on the bridge, there are different um, yeah, different um, access points on that bridge. Um, they've got, as they are operated, uh, they are located in the ops center. They've got um, an additional silent technical room where they also can do evaluation work and have access to other systems. Um, from there, they can also access um, other systems from their previous installation, um, which still was analog. And um, so, yeah, there's lots of stuff. 
in there, um, <laughs> giving them opportunities to um, operate and have um, reliable solutions in there. I think that was Done? the countdown now. Uh, yeah. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Just try Marvelous. to shorten it. <laughs> <laughs> Very well Thank done. You. Very well done. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> more information outside if you like to add our booth. You've got your own booth out there, haven't you? You have. Um, out there and um, at the show as well. At the show, good. So this is Gunterman and Dunk, yeah? Thank you. Thanks, Jun.